Hey guys, welcome to my review on the Brad Boys Sunkiss Summer Cameron, which I bought on June the 10th last year at the Belgian Sea, which is called Knokke. I bought him for 60 euros. I know it's way too expensive for one doll. And as you can see, the box condition is not perfect at all. Like it turned out yellowish and like sticker residue and stuff. You will notice that in this review. Um, fun thing is I didn't notice this store like that day I went with my boyfriend uh, over there because I wanted to visit the tutu pop-up store and when we walked back in the same street I still can remember this toy store slash beach toy store was on the corner and he I didn't notice it I was just walking past past this store and Thank God my boyfriend noticed it and he told me like, hey, don't you want to take a look inside? Maybe you can find some bread stuff and, you know. And so when I walked in, from the moment I walked in, I saw him standing next to the cash register and I was totally freaking out from the inside. Like, have you ever, like, experienced this, you guys? I get that all the time when I come across uh, amazing Bratz dolls and like oh it's such a great feeling like totally freaking out but from the inside so the seller doesn't see it <laughs> um, it's amazing though and I did an offer uh, but she didn't accept it so I was like you are such a very smart old lady <laughs> well she's not that smart because it's too many for one doll and I don't want to sound rude, but she was just an old lady. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I couldn't. I, I mean, I don't. I didn't want to spend that much, but on the other hand, I didn't want to leave him behind over there, so I had to bring him home. Um, yeah, but on the other hand, she gave me some free OG bread stuff and like collectors items. And that kind of made it up for me, so you don't really want to miss that. So keep on watching and you will discover on the end of this video what I got for free. So for the review he has a slicked back butt cut and this reminds me a lot of Leonardo DiCaprio. And also David Beckham had this uh, back then, um, yeah. But I think Cameron looks like he's rocking this hairstyle, seriously. Um, yeah, and his hair is blonde as usual, blue eyes, we know that. And over here he's wearing his Kauri seashell choker. And since I was a kid I've always been obsessed with the sea and like seashells. And I have a kind of a necklace like that laying around somewhere and I want to wear it for summertime again I think it will be so cool over here it says three cool outfits so this is the one he's wearing which is like a white over the knee swim shorts with red white and brown side designs which looks like an Y upside down to me and then it has br uh, brown drawstrings and bare feet of course it says new snap on bare feet then over here it says ba -ba -ba -ba. let's see collectible exclusive moving grooving collectible cart inside yes thank you focus <laughs> i couldn't read this that was really hard so here it is and it says heat it up brad's boys Sunky Summer, and this is the other one, Cool It Down Cameron. And then we have this very long banner which says Sunset Style Outfit, Sun Cool Swimming Set, and Beach Day Duds. It's really cool. So I'll be starting over here for the second outfit. So he comes with this vertical, multicolored striped hoodie with a V neck. And front pockets which you can see but I did some little research before this review just to 
get in detail with you guys because I think that's very important, you know. <laughs> and it's like red, brown, green, yellow, some orange and white. And then he also comes with this light blue t-shirt with palm tree prints and brown trim. Over here his beige cargo shorts with pockets, a D ring, braided belt with some red and has like frayed ends. And yeah, this has was worn by a lot of men uh, around summertime, but I've read that this is like a big no-no as a fashionable uh, clothing piece, but I guess every everyone uh, loves it because it's comfortable, I don't know, <laughs> but yeah, I guess that's the most logical reason, but the Bratz boys always make it like such a stunning clothing piece when they wear it. Um, he also comes with a light blue, sorry if I sound weird, he also comes with a light blue snorkel and then dark brown Sir goggles. Oh, I forgot something. He also wears like two bracelets. Like one is the cowrie seashell bracelet, and the other one is like a brownish, I don't know, like a bamboo kind of like inspired bracelet. It's very thin. Yeah, there you go. How did I not notice this? Like, how could you? <laughs> Okay, and then he also comes with his brown flip-flops. Sorry if I'm shaking, I'm really trying to do my best. <laughs> and moving on to the third outfit. He comes with a like one of one pair of grey sunglasses with a red lens. Then his brown Hawaiian like shirt with light blue flowers and two pockets. Did I pronounce that right? Hawaiian? Hawaiian? I don't know. <laughs> and then like one pair of jeans. Uh, not much to describe about. Well, it has frayed ends, so there you go. And he also comes with a black comp, which is still attached inside of the box. Yes, guys. Ah, uh, these days it's kind of very hard to have the comps attached inside of the box. Mostly, yeah, for the comps and the cards. Uh, I'm sorry if I'm shaking. So that's kind of rare. I was about to say that. So over here it says includes exclusive beach towel and surfboard. So he comes with his white surfboard with the same print as his shorts. But this time in red, brown and light blue. And the white is kind of also turned out into yellowish. Yeah, that's kind of sad. Sorry if I'm shaking. Uh, shaking a lot today. <laughs> and he also comes with his brown, red and white beach towel, which says Aloha. Aloha. <laughs> I've been practicing to kind of pronouncing it right. So yeah, there you go. Aloha. With palm tree and jungle leaf prints. They were so creative back in the day. Oh, I miss that. For every Brad's girl and boy, it was kind of different, you know? And last but not least, it also comes with these iconic OG Brad's booklets. Well, just one, of course. <laughs> I still remember I've been watching, I've been looking at the pictures inside of it as a kid like so many times. And like my world got a lot bigger because I haven't, sorry, I don't know how to uh, like tell you that in the right way, um, but like I didn't know that they've made like th that they, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I didn't know there were so many Brett collections made. 
I had no idea, so I was totally blown away, and I was like, oh my god, I had to get all of these dolls, like, all of these collections, and, yeah, I was kind of enthusiastic, but also very, like, you know, it was kind of irritating, I mean, I can't think of the right word of it, but, yeah. Frustrating, that's the one. <laughs> there you go. Uh, it was kind of very frustrating to me because I had like just a few when I started and look at me now. I have over the 200 bread dolls already. So, well, still not bad, but not all of them, of course. The ones I want, so yeah. That's how he looks like in the box and it says on top, Sunkiss Summer Collection with the Hawaiian flowers. And it also has like this bamboo like handle. Uh, Brett's were always like so creative and like so next level always with their styles and stuff like down to detail. I just can't explain anymore. But yeah, it really was. I guess you guys know what I mean. And that's one of the reasons why I love Brett's so, so much. And here is the back side, it says the summer's just getting started and already it's scorcher. Join the party with all the boys as they heat it up, cool it down and make it one you're sure to never forget. So hot. <laughs> and down here it says, I come with sun cool swimming set, beach day dots, sunset style outfits, pair of shoes, sweatshirt, tons of summertime accessories. And down here, the Sunkiss Summer Collection, collect them all. Such a beautiful picture. Oh, I love these dolls. And mostly, like, especially Chloe. Like, she's one of the most beautiful Chloe dolls ever, in my opinion. Oh, she's so hard to find. Well, to me, because I still haven't found her yet. And she's amazing. So here's a look of the whole backside. I mean, on the whole backside. So the first thing that she gave me for free was this amazing OG Bratz poster. Well, it was hanging over there in the store, so you can see it's not the perfect condition anymore. But look at this, how amazing is this? I love the background colors as in the old times, it's so pretty. And it has like Style It, Yasmin and Sasha. And then Independence Chloe in the middle, well kind of random though, but still amazing and i've seen sasha's artwork on the internet but differently like she just also looks forward but this time she's looking like downwards with that fierce attitude and i've never seen that before um so this is kind of rare actually i mean this is kind of very special to me so yep there you go And she also gave me this, like this huge Bratz, well not huge but bigger, Bratz 2004 collections booklets. They're of course the same but yeah, she only had these two left and she was like, I better give it to you because I will never get rid of it anyway. And I also think she told me that once they, if a person bought like a, one of the Bratz dolls, I think she gave one of these booklets for free. So that was so amazing. Like, I was so grateful about this. And, I mean, for this. And look at Yasmin. Oh, just check that wing out. She's so fierce. Yes, girl. So let's just take a little look inside. It's all, like, Dutch and French. So I guess this is specially made for France and Belgium, I guess. So, yeah. So it shows the spring and summer one. So let's take a look on that. Not going to show you everything because I don't have that much time. <laughs> Here's a Sunkiss summer collection. Oh, I love Chloe. And like, there's something weird about these booklets too. Because over here it says uh, Sasha is available separately. I'll be showing you that later because it's not saying over here. But yeah, they already have been doing this since the beginning, I guess. But 
they eventually they sold her. So that's the most important part. So even when they're kind of excluding her, like they're still sold her. So yeah, it's moving on. Girls night out. Yes. So over here it says Sasha is available separately. So weird, you guys. And then over here we have winter and like fall and winter. So let's see who we have here. Winter time Wonderland collection. Over here it says the same for Yasmin. Available separately and Sasha. Well, it's still weird because it says four different models. Dana, Chloe, Yasmin and Jade. So Yasmin is over here and also here like what? They're all separately like it's yeah so weird. I'm totally clueless about this. I'm just gonna show you one more. Flashback Fever. How cool is that? Tokyo Gogo. Also one of my favorites. Just like Flashback Fever. And yeah. So that was a little sneak peek. So here's a little overview on him. Just gonna like end this review quickly because it's getting too long i'm so sorry but i had to show you a lot so yeah so thank you guys so much for watching my review on the brad's boys sun kiss summer cameron don't forget to subscribe on my channel for more reviews and other videos hope y'all have a nice day and i'll see you in my next one ciao